Welcome back to another episode on the Tennessee Titans franchise. Today, it's going to be the divisional playoff round against the Baltimore Ravens. It's going to be a home game, so that's nice. But the opponent is probably worst case scenario. Um, when you look at the playoff bracket, we could have had probably the choice between who won. The Ravens won, the Raiders won, and the Jags won. Jesus, 35-3. Wow. All right. Well, anyways, I mean, we we know we have to beat all the teams. Um, but this one here is going to be pretty tricky because we're facing an incredibly tough Baltimore team. Um, whichever of these two wins is going to be another nail biter here in the championship playoff. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, on the other side, looking at the divisionals, the Lions against the Rams is super interesting as well. Uh, from the uh, Golf Stafford storyline, of course, they're not there anymore, but uh, yeah, will be fun. Um, and down here, it's the Cardinals versus the Falcons bird fight, uh, if you want to put it that way. Uh, we recently played the Ravens, so let's just take a quick look at how that one went. Um, not preseason, I want to see a regular season. Where did we play the Ravens? 20 versus 17. That was an incredibly close game. I remember that one. It was at home, so that was good. But still, this was just really, really uh, tight. Um, we barely, we barely, uh, you know, got the win here with those three points in the fourth quarter. Apart from that, it was it was a complete draw. Um, and a uh, very balanced game as well if you take a look at the yardages, if you take a look at the at the points here. Um, but still, this defense is not to be taken lightly. They have crazy good players in there. Um, and that is certainly going to be, uh, yeah, just a big, big call to come out on top here. Um, and uh, without further ado, let's just take a quick look if there are any key injuries on the team all right so i will not be going through the team in full length i will be going over the team uh with you together here but uh yeah just looking if there are any injuries for for uh, key players here that might change our game plan um, i don't really expect too much of of an injury haul here and it's not looking like it now all the offensive weapons are there now the offensive line is looking pretty fit here yeah everybody's there jesus christ defense anybody on defense injured or out nope everybody fit who was that tristan beckton backup uh backup left outside linebacker all right so it's only gonna be odafi away nice <laughs> uh it's only roquan smith and patrick quick come on man how hard could it be? Nah, it's going to be super hard. Super hard. We'll have to play fully focused, fully concentrated on this one here. Fully committed, not making any mistakes. Just really uh, going at it methodically here. Um, whew, all right. Defend the short pass. Certainly our way to go. Half pads and splits for everybody. I don't want to see a single injury here. Uh, that is not going to be something that uh, that I want to have. All right, now, the, the, of course, we're going to run it inside. No, I don't want to have any debuffs happening here um, and split training for everybody just to be on the safe side. Team profile also looking pretty good here. Weekly game plan goal. Let's see. What do we do? What do we try? Do we try and sack him? Let's just go for a sack goal here. And that 24 points of S, I think that is rather realistic. 250, all right, let's go for this. Let's try this one here. I had 70 odd points, and I spent all these on staff beforehand. Drum roll, please. And there's uh, there's nobody here that is out injured. That's really going to impact us. Apart from a single player looking like Chigo Conquo, man, freaking hell, and <laughs> Graham Barton, who I still can't bring back. I think I really messed up when I put him on the injured reserve. I can't bring him back in the playoffs. That is just super silly by me. I do hope I can bring him back at some point, maybe in a week or two. I think he has to be uh, fit for a certain amount of time. This is still the old uh, the the old setting here on Madden. Now in real life, it's uh, it's way uh, quicker that you can uh, bring back players. Chig, I certainly hope that he comes back quickly. Uh, Eric Lynch, I'm definitely on the fence about what to do with him two weeks time i think we can wait on him i don't really want to don't really want to just uh 
yeah just want to replace him or slap him on the injured reserve as well we do get a few points here now i'm going to distribute these together with you marius mims going up now to a super solid 97 jack lindsley improving also quite nicely here he's really growing that is very very good how tall is he six foot six and 335 pounds he just looks so tiny i think i'm gonna have to edit that player model i just this is driving me crazy amari rogers gets a gets one of those rare updates so here we go i don't really train him up anymore too much to be honest he's, he's 27 he's fully developed rather focusing on other players here 85 rating now for steven marino he was so good last week or uh, or in, in the last uh, last episode when we played the saints jd bradley as well he did fantastically well Deshaun price he is uh, doing extremely well on that uh, on that left hand side we might get a reveal at the end of the season mitch burris now up to a field general also growing quite steadily here i like this dude as well h22 let's just see what they've trade he will be all right apart from that uh, I will be taking a look at the depth chart now again together with you I might have done that off screen but let's just go over this one together um, because I feel like there are probably one or two decisions that uh, need to be made all right this here I actually like the look of this here Caleb Palmer I'm gonna put Stephen Marino on the three just uh, because of why not um, Caleb Palmer slightly slightly quicker of course uh, I've got Temple, I've got Clancy, and I'm going to put Wiley in here just uh, until Chig returns. Over on the left tackle position, I'm going to put Dijon Price. I want to have him there. Patrick Paul, this setup is uh, is the idea. Tyrell Bullet, that is okay for me on uh, on the backup spot here. Peter Skoronski back at center, incredibly important. Nitani Muti and uh, Tyrell Bullet, because we can't bring back Graham. Uh, that is so annoying. I can't really put put that into words. That is something that is really driving me nuts. I probably should have done this differently, but it's too late now. All right? It does make sense crying over spilled milk. So let's just keep on trudging here. All right. Um, we've got Glenn Sprinkle here. Yeah, that makes sense. Kenneth Murray Jr. Henry to O to O. I'm still looking for that reveal for uh, for uh, Burris here. So let's go like this. There we go. Chill peoples ahead of Justin Patton. Nope, I want to have the younger player develop here. Uh, McCreary, Fletcher, Christian Fulton. All right, makes sense. Derek Knox, Sonny Styles. We're now going to go down to a look at the third down running back. That's Ty J Spears. Power half back, Chris McAdams. And the slow wide receivers. I'm going to leave it as is because Caleb Palmer actually is a good slot wide receiver so with all of that done we are ready to head into this game now we're going to be playing the baltimore ravens at home so here we go playoff action guys this is the divisional round we're going to be playing the baltimore ravens will levis back on track here facing off against lamar freaking jackson one of the best quarterbacks in the game and in the league and here we go defense showing off the uniforms again we're going with the alternate option here the home option and here come the ravens in their away uniforms clean look as well really like those will levis can he run it back can we get a third super ring a uh, super ring super bowl ring well actually it would be a fourth right now we got one with uh, Will Levis, one with Malik Willis. Yeah, it will be a third for him. Let's see if we can get this done. Steven Marino trying to break a leg back here is our kick returner. And we're going to start at the 25 against an incredibly tough opponent. I fully expect this to be an absolutely brutal battle. Absolutely brutal battle. Game day factor. Safe hands. All right. Roquan Smith is the only dude that is looking like a, a run stopper back there, midline backer. Amari Rogers immediately out, going down within seconds of uh, starting this game here. All right, we're not going to be deterred here. Second and five. Let's get another five. 
so many so many tough tough players in here oh, we actually get good yardage on this one here shoved out of bounds by Kyle Hamilton unable to disentangle from him Ty J Spears the little dude and we just keep going here let's see let's set up a halfback angle and uh, of course we're gonna go with an RPO and we're gonna go with Spears Two yards, not what I expected. Quadricep strain, all right. So Marino moving up to wide receiver number two now. He wasn't bad when he played that role last game. There's some tired legs out there. And we get a first down. Roquan Smith chases down Spears, brings him down. As we move up the field here. Zone split weak left hand side. Let's go. Another one here. Three, two, one. Off we go. And there is space to be had. Kyle Hamilton misses the tackle. And we're off into the end zone here with Ty J Spears. A fantastic run. Great, great job for Ty J Spears. Who evades the tackles, finds a hole. And shows why he's my running back number one. Really well done here really well done especially avoiding this one here that's sheer speed right there and will Levis extremely happy with this come on defense all right defense limits them to field goal that is a chance but that is exactly what we had in the last game against the Ravens can we evade <laughs> I tried to fake him out but Roquan Smith is having none of that. He's just an exceptionally good mid linebacker. One of the uh, linebackers is breathing very heavily. So if we can just keep up the pressure here, just keep on pounding the line, I feel like we might have a good shot at this. Spear is slowly but surely getting tired, so maybe let's go with the play with Marino here for once. Or do we have a good audible? Let's go with this. And this is nice. A first down. Taichi Spears. Crud! I probably should have rested up on him. He was down to 80%. Let's hope he returns. Let's hope he returns. He was doing extremely well. Clock has stopped that. One second. George Temple. Start of trade player. Pushed out of bounds here. Will Levis with the first pass at the end of the first quarter. I think that says a lot. And there we go. Coach Redius. Hoping that Ty J Spears will return. Chris McAdams will have to take over the running here. Actually, looking, looking good. Chris McAdams with an injury. And he was kind of caught between two players there. Is this going to be... For fuck's sake. Partial ACL tear. No! Shit! Oh, that, is that on me? Is that going to be my, my mistake? I rested him. I, I, I rested him. And then... Then I... I don't know. Did I did I push him too much? Steven Marino. Getting forward though. We're at the 11-yard line. Just as we get this pulled groin. For fuck's sake, man. My run game is being completely torn apart. No pun intended. No pun intended. Alright, let's 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 just get this one here done. Let's just try and get... JD Bradley without an injury. Travis Jones. I was half expecting him to <laughs> go down as well. That would not have been fun. That would not have been fun. Half back up. JD Bradley. Straight run. Second and three. I don't even know who I would use if he were to go out injured. All right, we're in 14 and 3. We didn't waste any time there. We just went for the score. Going for the juggler. 14 and 3. Can our defense hold them? 
That is a big, big uh, part of us being successful in this game. What can our defense do? There we go. Will Levis. Hype train. Come on, defense. Defense turns it around. That is a big, big play by them. Halfback zone week. Let's get the clock running. And um, let's go the Y seam here. Looking for Burks. Looking for Marino. Easy catch. Stretching for yards. 3 for 3, 49 yards today for Will Levis. Alright. Halfback off tackle. Or a dagger. I think we need I think we need to give Bradley time to rest. We can always use Josh Wiley, I reckon. And we will have to dive into the deep uh, deep agents pool. Free agents pool here. George Temple. Two minute warning. I don't intend on giving the ball back to the Ravens. I don't intend to do that. On the other hand, if we get a chance for a quick strike, we're going to take it. That was Madden pass interference. When you look at the route, he was just completely bumped by one of the opposing players. Maybe now. Maybe now. My clock management is absolute shit right now. And I'm doing really badly. Alright. Let's go. Inside zone. Right hand side run. Gonna go straight for Roquan Smith. JD Bradley pushing forward. Fourth and five. The timeout is called here. My cock, cock management. Clock management was really bad. Completely cocked it up. Probably. Evan McPherson scoring though, so that's positive. And here we go. Can our defense turn it over again? That would be very important. Alright, so they get close again. And that's my own making. That's my own making. I'm not going to say my own incompetence, but... pushing forward all right let's stop the clock here first and 10 at the 47 we of course are gonna go with play action crossers why not steven marino we've got burks we've got temple on a good route as well that is inaccurate and out of reach dante arnold with an injury here even the ref is looking at the ball like what, what was that man what was that Marino, Temple again, just get the players. I want to go into field goal range, alright? I want to be in field goal range and at least push us into, you know, to the 20. That has to happen. Yeah, completely inaccurate. Fearless out of reach. Yeah. Doesn't feel fearless right now. 56 yard field goal. I know we can make those. Unless I bungle it. Alright, I have to shut up to focus. <laughs> uh, now, scoring the goal here. 11 seconds on the clock. Evan McPherson gets us to 20 versus 6. Oof. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Alright, defense not helping us now. And things got tight again. That's my own making. I mean, we did score two field goals there, but still. Can we evade Roquan Smith? Yes, we can. I tried to be clever here. Going for a turn or a spin move or something like that. But JD Bradley not escaping here. Alright. So, let's just go with a slam here. 20 versus 13. Got a lead. We've got the lead. That is important. Field goal is enough to keep them... Keep them, you know... Keep the distance up. 
Uh, number 21 just grabbing that leg. That's Cummings. And we lose yardage. Halfback zone weak. Can we go left? Their defense is now stacking up pretty tightly here. Third and six. Kyle Hamilton. Mm, which play do I like? The tight end angle, probably best chance here. Looking for Caleb Palmer or George Temple. No, he drops it. Oh, come on, man. Mm, that was... That was doable. That was doable. And what do we do now? Do we punt? Shit, man. Completely messed this one up. Fourth and six. Do I play aggressively? Let's just try and punt it really far back. Ah, oh, crud. All right. Speaking of making no mistakes, and I made two really horrible ones. Putting it out at the 14. That's good by Ryan Stonehouse. Trevane Henderson today. 40 yards. Zero touchdowns. All right. Come on, defense. Ah. Uh, Defense is not doing their jobs anymore. Maybe they're saying, well, dudes, if you're not helping us on offense, then we're not going to help you on defense. And I'm going to say, thank you for nothing. Here we go. Josh Wiley pushing forward. First rush, he is stepping in as a running back now. It is, it is what it is. We just have to work through this, but probably my using Tai Chi Spears in the first part of the game too much caused his injury, so that's entirely on me. And uh, later on, how far can we go? Roquan Smith going down here, waving over to the bench, going out. Never like seeing an injury. I do feel like that might help us a little bit here. All right, let's get the yard. All right, JD Bradley pushing forward. Deshaun Price with an injury holding his right elbow. And then I kind of bungled clock management towards the end of the first half as well. I feel like we could have probably gotten away with some more run plays. But yeah. Another injury stopping the clock. And there we go. Nice. First and ten. The clock is ticking. Second and six. <laughs> Speaking about the minutes, of course. Two minutes and six seconds. Now two minutes. And uh, here we go. 20 versus 20. It's the expected tight game. It's exactly what I expected. Let's go straight ahead. JD Bradley. Do we find the space here? Doesn't look like it. We get four yards, which is better than nothing. He's been our workhorse today. I'm gonna go with that inside zone here. Left hand side, slightly off. And I will be letting the clock run down now. We have to play this more clever than we did in the first half. I I didn't do that well enough. Kind of counted on our defense to stop them again, which just, you know, can't happen on a regular basis. Not against a team that is as high powered as this Ravens team. Here comes the ball and here we go. And we're going to go down. Timeout called. All right, inside zone. I want to force him to use those timeouts. I want to force him to use the timeouts. Obviously. Let's go down here. Six seconds. Another timeout called. Inside zone. Left hand side. This is the final one. This is the final one that they have to take. Alright. Can I be <laughs> tackled here please? <laughs> All right, there we go. 
One minute and three seconds. Six yards. Please tackle me. There we go. Shit, Trailerbergs. Oh, come on, man. Mm. This would have been the time to let the clock run down, but no, Mr. Burks has to pick up an injury. Thank you for nothing, you absolute doofus. All right, no injuries now. Good. <laughs> Pectoral strain. All right, we'll, we'll substitute Marino. Halfback. Dive. We're setting up this run here. Feeling good about this one. Feeling good about this. Either we punch in with around 15 seconds to go, or we will uh, just go for the field goal. I don't mind that. I don't mind winning by a field goal. That is certainly not something that I feel too proud about. There we go. Do we punch it in? Yes, we do. All right. The Titans push in for another touchdown. Makes me feel a little bit more safe here. 26 versus 20 with 15 seconds on the clock. No timeouts. They would have to play like absolute furies here. Evan McPherson going to take that extra point and come on defense. We even get the ball back here. We even get the ball back and of course, you know what's coming. The 38 yarder. That's going to be a field goal here. Ooh, slightly shaky. Slow arc because Evan McPherson's star is active. You can see the pulsing there. And we score. 20. Is that 30 or 29? 30 versus 20. All right. I feel good about this one. Well done, team. Well done, Titans. That is an incredibly important win. An incredibly important game. Great job here. Absolutely fantastic. Spencer Rattler stepped in. Lamar Jackson out injured. So probably that was what helped us a little bit here. But still, they felt absolutely unstoppable here. 76% completion rate. Will Levis, 54 on the rushing side, Tai Chi Spears was a freaking beast up until his injury, and I blame nobody but myself here. JD Bradley stepping up 99 as well. Two touchdowns. That was great. Um, Chris McAdams got injured so quickly. Jalen Graham got two touchdowns for them. On the receiving side, was there a receiving touchdown? There was actually no receiving touchdown. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. George Temple with that drop. Could have been avoided, probably. Thomas Cummings, solo tackle leader. Total tackle leaders, Thomas Cummings and Marcus Williams. Three tackles for loss, Glenn Sprinkle. And a few sacks here. Jarvis Ford, Jordan Hall, Neil Wilcox, Henry to Otto Owen, James Houston teaming up here. Very nice. Zero interceptions. And Evan McPherson, perfect as always. All right, guys. I've got good news. I've got bad news. The good news is, unsurprisingly, <laughs> as you just watched the game, we're breaking through 30 versus 20. We're going to be playing the AFC Conference game next. Uh, let's see who that will be against. Who could it be? It could be the Jags. It could be the Raiders. If it's the Raiders, it's the third time in the playoffs that we're playing the Raiders in a row. That would be fun. I would like to avoid the Jags because they're super nasty to play against. Um, the bad news, two new injuries. One of those is Ty J Spears um, and he's out with a partial ACL tear. And Chris McAdams is out with a pulled groin. Four weeks. All right. Quick calculation time. Right now, we are in week four. Uh, the conference is going to be three Pro Bowl two. Nah, he's not going to return on time. Oh, crud. All right. We will have to backfill once again on that uh, running back spot. Place player on injured reserve. Yes, there we go. And we will also be placing Chris McAdams on the injured reserve. I'm really bummed out by this because he was just really very good as well. Um, Eric Lynch, he might return for uh, for the uh, for the Super Bowl, but he's not going to be that much of a game changer. So I will be putting him on injured reserve as well. Can I do that? Yes, I'm going to do that. Here we go. Chick will be back next week. All right, this is Grand. Graham Barton, I would love to reactivate him. And I think I just messed that up completely. Let's just take a quick look at which running backs we could bring in. 
or which running backs we will have to bring in to help us out on the uh, on the running back position. All right, so we've got Nick Chubb here, we've got Kendry Miller, Kenneth Gainwell, Frank Gore, actually a ton uh, of of free agent running backs are available here. I'm just looking. Bryce Ramsey, he's actually on our practice squad. I think I'm just going to be activating him. Um, Austin Eckler, Zach Evans, Rashawn Johnson. There's some really cool names in here. I like those, right? I really like some of these. Um, is there a player that was with us before? Walter Griffin. I could, I could just sl slap into uh, players here off of our own practice squad rather than bringing in, uh, you know, dudes that might not even be that productive here um actually i think i will do that but but um i think i will bring in one veteran players though and that is going to be nick chubb i just feel like you know having a veteran in there will just help the team a little bit more add stability to that position so let's head over to the practice squad and just activate that one running back that, I mean, I did bring him in with that in mind, right? I did bring him in with uh, that in mind that he might be able to help us out if things get dire. And that's what I'm going to be doing now. Bryce Ramsey, your number has been called. You're being signed from the practice squad. Here we go. What about this? Russ Randolph. We're going to activate him as well. Um, also sign him from the practice squad. We just put Lynch uh, onto the injured reserve list. So we still have a few more spots. I'm going to be taking care of those next week. Um, not sure how I'm going to handle these, to be honest. But I, but I feel like, I feel like we just need to need to shuffle a little bit here. But for now, I'm going to call this episode um, to an end. I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's game, please consider dropping a like, uh, subscribing to the channel, or just uh, dropping a comment down below. Always much appreciated. And as always, thanks so much for being here. Stay awesome, everybody, and see you next time.